Of course, Adalia is on the radar, but it's another storm that's keeping people out of the water at the Jersey Shore. Hurricane Franklin is hundreds of miles away, but it is kicking up some rough surf right here in our area, creating high risk for rip currents. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman, she's live for us now in Atlantic City with more on the dangerous conditions. Trish. Well, sorry, yeah, Hurricane Franklin is moving up the coast and it is absolutely having an effect on conditions here at the Jersey Shore. We'll give you a look. We have seen some very large waves today here in Atlantic City. Today, lifeguards were working extra hard to keep all the swimmers safe and in some cases keeping swimmers out of the water altogether. The waves swelled at South Carolina Avenue Beach in Atlantic City today and while surfers enjoyed it. And we surfed here last night. It was pretty big and we said, all right, it's going to clean up. Let's go back. Swimmers <laughs> were disappointed. Lifeguards did not allow people to go in very far today. They didn't allow us because of the rip, cur the rip currents happening right now because of yesterday. And how do you feel about that? I don't like it, but I know it's for the safety. Yeah, it's too rough for me. Too rough. While Hurricane Idalia made landfall early this morning on Florida's Gulf Coast, it's Hurricane Franklin that's causing swells and rip currents here today and likely tomorrow. The surges, you know, with the full moon and the high tide that we've had, the surges and the power of these waves, it's been, you know, it's taken yesterday, yesterday afternoon, it was just knocking people right off their feet and dragging them right out. While surfers usually run towards waves like this, Beach Patrol Chief Steve Downey says these conditions may even be too much for some surfers, depending on experience. One had to be rescued yesterday after hours. With Labor Day approaching, he says it's all the more reason to set up your beach chairs near a lifeguard and listen closely. We're going to have as many beaches as we can have open due to the staffing that we have. Um, but again, just please listen to us. We're moving you out of trouble. We're not trying to ruin your day. Give you another live look at the waves here. Now, anybody that's out in the ocean is going to be a surfer. The lifeguards are keeping anybody who's swimming much closer to the water's edge, either knee or ankle deep. Now, the chief mentioned staffing there. This is the time of year where many of the lifeguards go back to college. Chief Downey says this weekend he expects about 75 to 80 percent of the beaches here in Atlantic City will be open for the holiday weekend with lifeguards on duty. Reporting live in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6 Action News. Brian.